Now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, well, Emily is now remnant low. We've been tracking it last couple days, brought heavy rain to Florida, but it really weakened over Florida. It never really recovered. So uh, now it is offshore. You can see it's well south of us and moving northeast, so it's not moving in our direction. Not going to have to worry about it. It might produce a little bit of waves next couple of days, but it's not that strong, so I don't think we're going to see too many waves. But it is moving along this uh, stationary front, and it wrapped in some cooler air. So uh, you know, there's some cool, dry air, which we've been enjoying lately. That kind of ate away at Emily. So we're going to write that one off. We've got high pressure around here. That should also help to keep that system to our south and east. And we just have some uh, pretty typical summertime weather around here. Warm conditions, and there's no rain in the region right now. Not really expecting much for rain. Now I'm going to show you this interesting map because uh, the way the numbers work here. So this is a forecast temperature map. And so this afternoon we'll see highs in the uh, upper 80s in Norfolk. I'm going for about 89, a little warmer. That's a model, remember. Pretty standard temps. But watch what's going on over in the western part of the country. 100s all the way up into Portland, Oregon, and maybe some 100s even up into western Canada. That's unusual. Watch what happens for tomorrow. For us locally, we're going to see high temperatures near 90 degrees. We're going to heat up a little bit more. Meanwhile, these are close to high temperatures in the central, north central U.S., 50s and 60s, and then more heat back in the west. So temperatures just really out of whack across the country. For us, it's, you know, it's pretty normal, but uh, in the central and western parts, it's unusual, very unusual. All right, so right now, temperatures, they're in the low 70s. We've got partly cloudy skies overhead. 74 in Norfolk, 60s in Portsmouth, and 69 degrees in Virginia Beach. We're at 67 in Chesapeake, 70 in Hampton, upper 60s, Suffolk, and 73 in Williamsburg. Now, future track, our forecast. We've got partly cloudy skies now. We'll see partly cloudy skies through the day. Pretty quiet weather, pretty standard weather out there. Noon time, 3 p.m., again, partly cloudy. And then uh, going into 6 o'clock, we'll see partly cloudy skies. No rain expected. Now we go into the overnight. We'll have a little bit of cloud cover just like this morning. Should keep the temperatures from uh, falling too much. We'll see lows in the uh, upper 60s, low 70s. And then tomorrow through the day, partly cloudy skies again. Now we may see a stray shower inland late in the day. This is probably uh, even west of Williamsburg, but there may be one or two out that way. And we'll get a check on it you know, as we get closer. But uh, right now, maybe a 10% chance of seeing a shower tomorrow. Today, no rain, partly cloudy skies, highs in the mid to upper 80s over the Outer Banks, 89 in Currituck, 91 though Chesapeake, 90 in Suffolk, 91 in Franklin, and 88 Virginia Beach, 89 Norfolk, and 89 in Portsmouth. Upper 80s in Hampton, upper 80s in Newport News, 89 there, 87 Melfa, 87 Gloucester, 93 Williamsburg. I think you'll be more in the mid 80s towards Chincoteague and Kilmarnock with, uh, again, all these are a little bit warmer than yesterday. The waves aren't too bad today, one to two feet. Rip current risk is moderate. Maybe even get it down to low. You know, things are settling down a little bit over the water, so that's good for swimmers. And there's your boating forecast. Wind southeast, 5 to 10. Waves are down there as well. So, 7 day forecast, upper 80s to low 90s, basically for the next few days. Could see some isolated showers late Friday, Saturday, some scattered showers, not a washout, some scattered showers. And then Sunday, uh, I think towards the evening, we'll get some rain in. And it'll probably rain for a while then. Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday looks like a longer stretch of wet weather.